Designed by a team of engineers at Jet Propulsion Laboratories, the new buoys will be deployed throughout the world's oceans and will be capable to register shifts in ocean temperature by as little as one degree Celsius. One of the things that we notice immediately, the idiom is capable of, not capable to, so we can get rid of A. Um, and D says, have the capability that. Um, that's not good either. So now we have to choose between B and C. We have be capable of registering op uh, ocean temperature shifts by as little as one degree, um, or be capable of registering shifts in, open in ocean temperature uh, by as little as one degree Celsius. Uh, a couple issues here. Um, one of them is ocean temperature shifts. Um, we're modifying, we have three nouns in a row, ocean temperature shifts, and while you can join some nouns together to create compound nouns like this, uh, in general, you aren't supposed to modify nouns with other nouns, and when possible, you want to separate them out. So we would say shifts in open te in ocean temperature um, uh, as, in, as a matter of preference, because ocean temperature shifts, although no one would have trouble understanding you in English if you were to say such a thing, um, it's not as grammatically correct. And um, also, choice B has be capable of registering ocean temperature shifts by little as, when it should be by as little as. The idiom is as x as. So B is missing an as as well. We can select C and do so with confidence.